Hey, welcome back Design Squad. What is up? Welcome to another Design Tool Tuesday. Another Tuesday where I'm going to share with you one of the tools I use and you know, the recent finds and things which can benefit your workflow and how you approach, let's say, user research, user experience, customer experience, service design, product design, you name it. Basically, whatever adds some value to you as a designer. Let me show you first and foremost what it does and then you can make a decision if you want to try using it or adapting to your workflow. But it's very simple and web based way to generate custom 3d mockups with a device right off the bat it's as easy as just starting it off and as you can see i have this web interface where i can do a lot with it i can drag it around as well so let's say if i just remodel it like this and make one of those floating mockups i can do it as well i can of course turn off that shadow and so forth but but let's keep it something like this let's say but as you can see it's all in web that's the best bit. Let me just check and find some mockup to place it here really quick. And for that, I'm going to go to sketch app sources, one of the tools I already shared with you before. But let's find something like a mobile app uh, mockup of source just to showcase exactly and I'm going to pick a few examples from here. And so let me put one random one, let's go one by one, and it immediately added the mock up, you can either reposition the mock up up or down, or you can or you need to design for this. And I think this is iPhone eight plus maybe just based off a size and a visual look identity, you can also change the color of a background, let's say or or pick shade. And let's say if you want it to be red, or something like yellow. And then you can also reposition it dynamically. So you can have like a, almost like a podium experience to see how your mockup could look like from just the edge. You can add the glare or remove that glare, add color of a different iPhone, so black or white. You can also disable the shadow if you want to make it flatter. Maybe you want to do it something like that, you know, so it reminds a bit more of a clay mockup. It could be that. You can also resize the canvas to let's say make it something like this. Maybe it's just for like a banner you're looking for. Exit it and then you can easily download that immediately. And a download would look like this. I see that it's a bit washed out here because of the glare. It's up to you how you want to relocate it though. If you want a sharpness, you're going to need to play around a little bit of how it appears because you can see the light comes from the like from the top. So maybe like this would be a better option if you want to make it sharper. So let me just select another mock up really quick. Let's see what the others would look like. Like this one, for example, which is like a fashion brand. But as you can see, because it's much taller than it was, you would want to then readjust your mock up to match it. It really depends what you want to display, what that toolbar would have to be, you know, because it's static, it's sticky naturally in a design, you would want to maybe shift it up a little bit and just adapt it because the tool is, you know, it's in web based, you, you can't expect it to have everything. And so you would need to play around to make it perfect or perfect with you know what you are after perfect. And let's try another one just to see exactly how, what's what's what it would be like if let's say we take something totally different. As you can see, it's light mock up, there is a bit of a shade from the front, which I don't really like maybe something like that. It looks quite realistic though. I, I get why we did what we did making that shade maybe something like this would be better so that there's some round shade. I just feel like the shadow and the clarities it's not as vivid as it could be for a mock up. Perhaps if you change the color of the iPhone, then you can expect it to be a bit better. Like this, for example, it's probably the sharpest it could be. Let me just download again and boom, just to preview it, it's immediately I can just, you know, extract maybe add text from the sides, use it in my marketing material or presentation slides, anything you do with your designs to actually upsell get buy in, you know, pitch to different stakeholders, let's say this could be it. And I kind of like how it looked like you can find this tool at fred.io immediately you can play with it and use it. And I love that there is, you know, these purpose built tools around there where you can just add your mock up, let's say, and it immediately becomes impactful and useful for you as a designer. And as per usual, if you like this video, give a like, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned for more material next week. And until next time.